Uh, the trig ratios are super famous. You have sine, cosine, well actually I'll spell them out, cosine and tangent, all right? And they're usually denoted with this like shorthand. It'll be like, okay, sine is just sine, cosine is just cos, and tangent is just tan. This is not sin and cos. That's like every teacher's pet peeve. So don't say sin and cos, that's sine and cosine. And these are trig ratios, right? And, and they only pertain to, um, well, they typically are used with right triangles, okay? So let me show you exactly what these mean. If you had kind of an average right triangle like this, let's say you had, you know, oh, okay, generic right triangle right here, all right? And, and basically you have, you know, I don't know why, but a lot of times they'll denote the right angle as C and you'll have A and B. What's confusing about sine, cosine, and tangent is it depends on what angle you're starting from, okay? So now let me give these some side, like let's call this, you know, three, four, and five. Uh, three squared plus four squared is five squared. So here's a generic right triangle. If you were asked to find the sine of something, right, of, co of A or B, the sine, there's this famous poem, or is it like a acronym? I don't know. It's SOKOTOA, right? And people use this to memorize um, what so sine, cosine, tangent are, okay? So here's the whole SOKOTOA. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Hence the O and the H. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, okay? And cosine is, the ka is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent, tangent is opposite over adjacent. And again, I realize this is mildly confusing still so far. So let me get, let's start doing some actual problems with this, with this triangle. Opposite depends on what angle you're starting from. So if I said, so let's start with sine. If I said find the sine of angle A, the sine of angle A, I know that it's opposite over hypotenuse. So what? Here's angle A. Where is opposite? Opposite sort of makes sense. It is exactly across or opposite the triangle. So this would be three over hypotenuse. I don't know. I mean, is it four? Is it five? Hypotenuse is the longest side, first of all, and it's always across from the 90. So in this case, it would be three over five. What might be a little more confusing is what about cosine of A? Cosine, we remember, is adjacent over hypotenuse. So from A, who's adjacent? Well, adjacent means like next door to, like the church is adjacent to the uh, elementary school, right? Adjacent means next door to. So who's adjacent to A? It looks like four and five are, so that's super confusing. Is it four or is it five? Well, five is already spoken for. The five is clearly the hypotenuse because it's across from the 90. So adjacent must be this guy. So this is four, again, over hypotenuse, five, done. And then you have tangent, which is, of, we'll call it tangent of A, right? And again, here you go. It is opposite over adjacent. Here's A, opposite, three, over adjacent. We already had that whole meeting is four, done. The thing about sine, cosine, and tangent that confuses kids is this is not a universal answer because we could do the same thing, and I won't do them all, but we could do the same thing for B, right? Those were all for angle A. What if I said sine of angle B? I know that it's opposite over hypotenuse, but from B, who's opposite? Oh, okay, okay. Now you have sine of B. Opposite is four, and, it, and hypotenuse is still five. That just doesn't change. So again, you know, it depends. Sine, cosine, tangent depend on which angle you're referring to. There are three very typical trigonometric ratios, and they're very common. And actually, they're pretty easy once you get them figured out. And that's it. Remember, if you're having a hard time in your class at your local school, you could take this online, Silicon Valley High School, and the credits will be transferred back to you.